Introduce us. No, we don't need to introduce ourselves. No, I'm, I'm Adley. This is Astroth. Astroth. Hopefully, you will be able to see our faces still be blacked out like Slenderman. Um, Hopefully, that's recording. All right, so let's start this game. Uh, just, just to give people a little bit of a heads up, uh, we have had a few recording sessions already, and Quantum Conundrum for some reason just doesn't like this PC. No. Um, so if the first few bits of this game are a bit, bit, bit laggy, uh, we'll try and sort something out. Um, but just bear with us, is what we're saying. It tends to speed up a bit later. Yes. All right. So should we, uh, should we just go for a new game? Yeah, just go for a new game. Continue game. That's that's our previous tests, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So new game. Testing to see if the frames would increase later on. Yes. And it did. It did. Yeah, it did. It did. So it was good. Once upon a time. That's how these games usually start, yeah? Mm. A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claimed. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my... Uh, the, the brother's doorstep. Now you, I mean, the boy, had visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. This music in this game is actually amazing. Right. I don't care. Ugh! Annie, this kid is out of here now! <laughs> Put it down! <Yeah. laughs> I love these kind of games. Right, first puzzle solved! Yeah! <laughs> Okay, let's go. Progress. I am so good at this. If this was amnesia, my god. Uh, I think uh, lift it above your head so I don't keep smacking against the face. But then I can't see where I'm going. Uh, that's fine. I'll just follow. I'll, I'll do everything you want to do. <laughs> that's perfect. There you go. Now you can have a look around. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Like a joint line. Don't be an anus. Right. Alright, if I save the release in, okay. in the edit, if I've managed to put in one of our thousand intros in for this game, it, you'll know what the game is. Yeah, but oh, I'm not, yeah. not going to do it. <laughs> Puzzle two, <Tusa! laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're actually awesome at this. I'm. This is this is great. I've never been this good at a puzzle game before. <laughs> oh, for God's sake! Just go. Oh. Did you fall off a cliff? Hey man, that's my luggage. That's not cool. <laughs> got all your fuck and it, shit. Where the fuck did it go? Oh great, is this where it starts? This game is this a scary game? This is a horror game now. Oh no! You're in your fucking mansion. I'll pick that up. I can pick that up. I, I can't. Are you a slave? Right, fine. Oh! Hi, I'm here. In Intercom doesn't explain how you saw us jumping. It's all right, Uncle. I got this. I'll put all this back for you. We're good. What in the world are you doing? This is all we normally do I'm on hit. a visit, anyway. Clean up yes, after I was. your mess. Well, judging from the I'll clean up after your mess. 
Don't you worry. I'm guessing you're going to ask me to go around and solve all these things for you. How did they get there in the first first place? How is he picking these up? You're only a little kid. Look, Look at that. International stru Where the hell did it go? Uh oh. Uh oh. There's, there's some sort of vortex up there. I'm going to like pick it up again. I'm going to go like tidy. Alright, okay. let's go. Alright, we're done here. Uh, is that count as another puzzle solved? We cleaned up. Puzzle solved! <laughs> wow, he's seen better days. Is that like an oven glove? No, I thought this guy was an inventor. Alright. remember, I was in the new technology sector and then. I don't know. Ooh! Oh, hit my mic. The fail safe was tripped accidentally. Unfortunately, the front door will remain in lockdown until you can restore the power. What, do you want me to leave already? That's not very nice. Okay. Alright, so I guess we just have to make progress and not let our sanity go down. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the tinderboxes? I don't understand. Is this a tinderbox? Oh, is that lag? Uh oh. I that's lag. I think that's a tinderbook. Alright. Alright, it was up to here last time when the frames got better, wasn't it? Yeah, this is this is where it was. If you head over to my office over on the left, you should you be able to restart the power. Well. It hit 30 last time. Alright. Okay. Throw that switch there. Is that it? one there. Throw it. What? What are you throw it? Yeah! It wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Just uh, take the glove in the box with you. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not pleased. I got the glove. What you are holding is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship device, or IDS device for short. It's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get it? You know, because it's a glove. <sighs> yeah. This this voice actor was doing so well until he said that. Yeah. I really was really enjoying it, and and then he did that. It seems as if the breaker did unlock the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. I guess this is the blue wing. Oh, yeah, the blue wing. I must tell you, my latest invention has required me to make a few adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. I mean, visit. Hey, you really don't like me. That invention of mine should be infused with more than enough genius to help navigate some of the not so childproof areas. <laughs> Puzzle <Yay! laughs> Let's go! Now, one of the topics that our family has been studying for several generations are rifts existing between various dimensions. Ah, yes, I've heard I've of been these. Able to develop a power source these that will rifts. channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel through. You're grooming me for something. What are you going to be widening? <laughs> oh, allows you to travel to whichever dimension evil. has rifts in the area. Uh, so what do you want me to do with this interdimensional dick device? <laughs> this widening you won't contraption. You over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Oh. Just be patient. Hey! No! I'm a- I'm three! Okay? <laughs> Patience is not in my virtues right now. <laughs> the repetitive, periodic, articulating groovy day. Or a drinking bird. Yeah. It's a fucking Except drinking bird. Oh, it's far more advanced than a drinking bird. How's the frame rate? Bearable? Yeah, it's good. It's much better, I think. Oh. What is this contraption? Uh, well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility and the distance it can be from a receptacle in order to function. You're talking to a three year old. Yeah. Do I liked you, how he started that sentence. Do you know? <laughs> a shift in perspective. This is such an early experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with the drinking bird. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions, which in this case is fluffy dimension. In addition to fluffy, Lovely. it's embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather useful 
because everything is ten times lighter than normal. Uh, how does that help us? <laughs> I'm safe. Ah, broke me arms. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Too far in. I'm no good at this. Perfect. <gasps> Puzzle <Pencil> sir! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good at this game. By that I mean. Ah! God damn it! <laughs> so Dan, what do you think about this puzzle, man? I'm not really sure. What I have to do. Right, I think he wants you to put your hat on there and then stand on there. Okay. Alright. So Can, how do you take off your hat? I, I don't know. Uh, uh, put your hat on the button, then go stand on the safe, and then you're done. Shall I work out what the inventory is? I don't know. Tonight doesn't work. Does it pull out your lantern? Oh, no. What are we oh, gonna do? Man, I'm, 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 we're screwed. Oh. Okay, right. You go back over there. Perfect. Oh, puzzle solved! Yay! Puzzle solved! There's that lovely bird again. Sometimes oh, and a battery for the dimension stuff. Ah. Oh. That won't fit in your glove. Need double A's or something. something. To note. Do I have to, like, double tap on it to put it into my lamp? <laughs> yeah, that's what it's for. It's for your lantern. It's oil. An alternate dimension. Let me try that again. You remain constant. So oh, that's no all, that's the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality. <laughs> okay. You love your nephew. <laughs> it's, it's a love hate relationship, I think. I guess I'm gonna have to put this bird on here. You drink that shit. You got it right the first time. Puzzle solves. Puzzle. Puzzle. Oh, you had it. Puzzle. Ah. Uh. There. And now the same with the boat. I guess it needs to snap in. Aha! Perfect. Fluffy. Quick. Quick. Before the okay. drinking bird Put decides the safe he's not thirsty. On the bird. Yes. Oh, or on your head. Or on my face. Guys. I think I've got an epidural hematoma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just made that. Pick up the safe! Damn it. No, I keep thinking I, I think can grab some chairs, further. Would the chairs be easier? I saw a couple of floors that you might need a, like a couple of chairs. So ah. Three chairs, maybe. Perfect. So throw another two up. Or launch a safe one. What the? Whoa, that kid's strong. Oh. Ow! <laughs> Get out of my way! That was effective. I think I can jump that gap, you know. Um, I'll jump on this. Yeah, Should but I... I think you need a third chair. Do you think? Yeah. Oh no! Nice! I knew something that Daniel didn't! Yes! yes! I didn't know there was a run function. Uh, you should throw that IDS battery into the, in the bin. Mounted on the it, wall. Up there, yeah? Up. Up there. Perfect. Done. That wasn't it? Ah, oh, damn it. So, you can throw the receptacle a... is up on the second floor alcove. That receptacle will distribute the power source around the room, allowing you to now use uh... your IDS device to switch dimensions at... <laughs> four receptacles, four buttons. It's like four dimensions. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm tripping. <clears throat> right, let's do it. Fluffiness. That's good, because now at least we don't have a fucking drinking bird anymore. There's a second safe in the room. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Let's put this safe on this thing. Open this door. Nice. Yeah. Fucking do it. Uh, are, these, are these statues going to come alive? I think so. Can I hold you in the fluffy dimension? Selection.